Welcome back to E3 month on It Came From The Collection. We are up to E3 2001, and this is just another assortment of stickers and discs and cards and little things, all the little extra things uh, that you accumulate at E3, especially back in the day, like this uh, Nintendo GameCube. Uh, you might have thought this was just a GameCube, but it's actually paper. And it opens up and it's got a little enclosed as a mini disc for your PC. Appropriate for this one because this is like GameCube sized. Uh, ironically, you could not put that in a GameCube to use it. I think these got released like to the public through like EB Games or they'd just be sitting out places. Uh, they even did the bottom. It also looks like they, uh, they would have mailed them to people on a mailing list probably. Um, I think it's got video of every everything uh, from the early days of the GameCube. I feel like Metroid Prime is probably on here. Um, I can't remember exactly what else, but that's that. Let's look through some other card things. Uh, let's start with this one. For Sonic Adventure 2, I think? Uh, this would have been 2001. Uh, so this could have been... Gosh, I don't know my Sonic timeline that well, uh, but I feel like Sega had not yet announced that Sonic Adventure 2... Ah, don't look at that. Don't look at that probably no longer used FTP address for uh, for Sega. I mean, now I'll cover it up. Um, I guess I don't even know if they still have an address. Come on. Thank you. There's the back. I'm not sure which Sonic Adventure that went with. Uh, here's a postcard to come see Anno 1503. Oh, wait, this is a winning ticket. Bring your ticket to the Sunflowers booth. Pick up a present for every winning ticket. I never, I never went and got anything. Dang. Uh, I'm not sure what Blast Radius is. It seems to be... I don't think there's any personally identifying stuff back here. Come on. It seems to be someone who did, like, we've got Nike, Casio, Kenwood listed on here. Advertising, possibly? Or they, uh, they might have done some web design work for them? I do not remember what this blast radius is. I just thought this card was cool looking. Um, conversely, here's a card that's not that cool looking. Uh, you get this in the mail, and you're like, well, I don't think I even want to turn this over. Uh, let's see, I'll cover that up. Um, this is such an archaic thing. You used to get requests for E3 appointments in the physical mail. People would send out postcards and say, Hey, don't forget to come to Kencha Hall. Come and see our weird uh, millimeter Tivola's new CD-ROM Explorer. Oh, preview. Uh, I think this one, this one has me on it. Uh, here's another postcard for Midway. Even Midway, it's, it's not like just stuff from Kencha Hall. Uh, even big companies would be sending out postcards. For press appointments, call this guy at this number. Should have covered up that number too. Just look at that part. Uh, and then finally, here's, here's a postcard that you could have received in the mail. And you're like, what is, is this for American Apparel? What is this? Postcard four. Oh, it's for worms, global worming. You know, this is the only party where it's okay to whip out your worm and compare it in front of everyone. It's so dumb. Also accompanied by vinyl window sticker and sticker. I think at the booth they just had people, like, rolls of those and they were tearing them off, handing them out. I have quite a few of those. Uh, let's see, just like E3 2000, here's the mini disc. You can, you can tell it's a year later because technology has evolved to make oval-shaped CDs instead of those like square-cut ones. And I'm sure this has the same kind of thing, all the press releases about what E3 is, stuff like that. Uh, I just wanted to call out this uh, business card because, I mean, that's how my business cards came out. Like, I just printed them on this cardstock and then tried to cut them real straight. Uh, it's amazing. Funcom has come quite a ways. Uh, here's one of the other ones I could show because it's really just 
an advertisement for infograms. Thanks for stopping by. Check out this address for more E3 stuff. And then I'm not sure what Net Games is, but I have the multiplayer SDK if anybody needs it. Uh, let me know. I'll post an image somewhere. Uh, some other fun stuff. This is going to play really good. Wow. I don't know what Road Rage was for the Game Boy Advance from Ubisoft. I really, really don't remember what this is. Uh, but this sticker is pretty sweet, right? Uh, and also a Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2 sticker. I never put this on a book or a binder that I needed to take to school. I never put it on the bottom side of my deck. Uh, obviously, since I said that, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. Pro BMX 2. I'm talking about skateboards. This is BMX. Come on. I never really got into to Matt Hoffman so much. It's more Tony Hawk for me. Uh, this thing's weird. This is a very thick, it's not really a business card. I'm not, I don't know what NetBaby is. Do you know what NetBaby is? Uh, this is some kind of card and it's got that on the back. Um, it's, it's really thick though. It feels, it feels really good to hold. I just don't know what it does or what it's for. It's like a WarioWare mini game, like on a card. Like, I feel like I need to just hit one button. I don't know. I, it's been a mystery for years. Uh, Namco's booth, they had... Licensed by Namco. A little sticker stuck on there. I'm pretty sure they had these packs on the show floor they were handing out. And not that this was something I picked up at a store near the convention center. Here's the back. Let me flip through these real quick since I got them and they're already open. Uh, Killick. Sophisha. Here's some art. Some very bad art. What does this even say? Siegfried. It's kind of a metallic card. Uh, here's a Killick bio card. Here's a Killick weapon card. Uh, here's a top tier lizard man. It's Mitsurugi's card. Uh, here's some more bad artwork. And some more dubious artwork. So we got Shanghua. Try and get these all in focus. And, of course, like trading cards, the back, like, will make a big poster. Oop. There's some more Killick. I don't know how readily available these cards are, so I thought I'd... Uh, try and get that metallic surface in focus. thought I would just hold them up just in case it's something people want to take a closer look at. Uh, and this also has another part of the puzzle on the back. This one, they didn't come up with anything. They just put a logo on the back. Lizard Man. He's three years old. Also, generic logo. Logo. Another logo. And a logo. So that's a pack of cards I picked up at the show. And then the last two, these are really cool. These are the best thing that I've got, I think. Uh, I can't remember if these came in packs or just like little, you know, foil wrap wrappers at the show floor they had a bunch of them for original xbox uh like characters and titles and stuff uh, but these two happen to be from johnny drama which sierra canceled uh so they they're 
you know, official Microsoft promotional goods for a game that doesn't exist, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there's some other video. If you uh, check out the channel, I have a couple E3 videos going up, and one of them you can see uh, some clips of Johnny Drama. I was really excited about it because it was like, look at him, cool guy, 50s, 60s, swinging spy type stuff, like very um, Austin Powers slash James Bond type of stuff. It was, and it was obviously like cell shaded kind of look cartoony look on purpose not trying to be ultra realistic i always appreciate that um let's see we're at 10 minutes so i'm gonna wrap it here for this video thanks for watching i'm just gonna pull out the sticker since it's here fill up the frame thank you for watching another e3 episode of it came from the collection and i will be back with more soon thanks for watching